Hello guys, this is Ryo69501 and welcome to my Age of Ultron video event. Well, maybe some of you might be thinking what the hell I'm doing this video for. Well, event is an event. Whether, whether the storyline is good or bad. So, bottom all, so I'm going to show you all the comic books that, that goes with this event, all the covers actually, and I'm going to explain you more or less what the story is about without spoiling, spoiling it because I know that many people, they haven't read it because they're waiting, they are be waiting for the trade. So, oh, let's get started with the covers. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, this is the first issue of this Age of Ultron, which happens to be a nice cover. It, has, it was kind of like foil cover. Nice. So here's part two. This is issue part two. Nice cover also. Part three, which is not bad. Part four, part five with the Red Hulk, part six here, part seven, this is a nice cover, part eight, part nine, this is <clears throat> what you see on the cover happens on the inside, and part ten. So, so it's not bad. I really like. So I'm gonna give you a long, a long shot of the comic books. Overall, they all look awesome, though. So all the covers are nice-looking covers. So let's put it here again on my homemade tripod. Uh huh. Okay, let me put it here. Okay. Sorry about the shaking. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. There. Oh boy. Well, what is Age of Ultron? Well, the Age of Ultron is actually the the story is about that Ant Man. He created, he created Ukron. And in a way that will develop himself and fix himself and evolution himself. To the point where Ukron, the machine, believes that human beings is not worth living. So he wants to take over the world. Which actually, that's what happened. On issue number one starts where the whole world, the city of New York, is in ruins. What I mean ruins. Literal in ruins. So I'm going to show you here. I mean a lot of destruction. Look at that. Look at that. Now that is destruction. So the thing is that The story takes place in the future, way in the future. So, human race basically has been eliminated. The few superheroes that they are still alive, they are living on the ground, trying to figure out how to destroy Ultron and trying to survive, because Ultron is hunting all the superheroes. And also it's giving random money, not, not random, like reward money to find some of the superheroes. So we get to see all of them, they are all beat up, tired, they haven't slept, they haven't eaten, and they are really, really beat up. So later on, mm, I don't want to spoil it too much. 
Later on, the team of the superheroes that they are left alive, they are kind of like divided in, in three. One stays on here, while one of the teams goes to the future. Now, yes, it goes to the future. Okay, let me explain. Age of or the story is on the future, but a but Ultron is not on the same timeline as the story because Ultron is on the future. Way, I mean, it's on the future and beyond. Because from beyond, Ultron is controlling Vision to do what he's doing on this time. I don't know if I'm explaining myself. It's a little bit hard to explain because there's, there's, I mean, it's, there's some timeline I mean, going through time, okay, well, it's future, but it's, yes, in the future, but it's future and beyond. So, basically, the whole thing that is happening here is done by vision, controlled by Ultron from the future of our time, from the future of this story. I guess I said it correct. I think I said it correct. Okay, fine. So they managed to recover Vision. And Vision is supposed to be dead, and then he wakes up and he doesn't know what the hell is going on. So some of the superheroes, they decide to go to the future. From here, that, from, the, from this storyline. They decide to go to the future and beyond in search of Ultron. Because they want to destroy, if they destroy Ultron on the future beyond, well, things should stop here or change. And the other half, which one of them is Wolverine and Summers, uh, I think it's the Invisible Woman, one from the Fantastic Four, she lost her, uh, she lost her family, her two kids, because of Ultron. Yeah, I believe her husband also. Excuse me. So, Summers and we're ready, they decide to go to the past. Way, when I'm talking to the past, I'm talking the moment that Summer, I mean not Summer, Ant-Man, created Ultron. Wolverine came up with this idea. If we go back in time and we kill Ant-Man, whoever created Ultron machine, then it's the end of it. Everything's fine. And whatever happens on this timeline will never exist. Well, and Summer, she says, well, that's a good idea, but we should not do it because we don't know what's going to happen if we kill him. We don't know how, what's going to happen on the future if we kill him. If we kill him and he doesn't create the machine, what would happen? And Wolverine says, look, who cares what happened? It had to be better what we have now. So they go back in time. They show up in the lab just right at the moment when he was creating Ultron. And they start talking, there's a big fight between Wolverine and because happens to be, I think it's Ant-Man, so Giant Man. I mean, I'm not too well known of the Marvel uh, of the Marvel universe. So uh, they start to fight, and then suddenly Summers comes in and says, "Look, just right at the moment when Wolverine was going to kill the Giant Man, she says, stop, don't do it because we don't know what we're doing.' And she and Wolverine talk to Ant Man, say, "Look, do not create this machine." Because you don't know what happened in the future. 50 years or 100 years from now, everything is a mess because of this machine that you created. And they said, well, so I can do this and I can do that to avoid that. But Wolverine doesn't listen because Wolverine says if, if, if we let him to create like a device to, in case that gets out of out of the hand, you just press a button, it will auto destruct, it's not gonna do it. So Wolverine doesn't trust him. And the fight breaks out. And actually Wolverine kills him. Fine, so you so me when I was reading that I was uh, okay. 
Now things change in the future. So when they when they go to the future, well, okay, when they go after they kill the giant man, they go to the future, uh, to the present, which happens to be this timeline. When they arrive to this timeline, everything's changed. Actually, it was worse than when it was full. There's a whole new mess, there's a whole new universe, whole new superheroes. Looks like Iron Man, looks like he's taking over the world. And there's some other clan, uh, last name I think is Le Fay, I think it is. He's trying to attack this guy that I think is Tony Stark. It's a big mess. So, uh, it's kind of complicated. After all that's going on, the first team that went to the future and beyond to destroy Ultron, there's another big fight going on over there. But somehow, uh, the Wolverine of the future, beyond, decides to go back in time to stop. Which I don't know how that happened. Maybe I missed it. So, then we go back in time again. The moment when Wolverine was about to kill the giant man. Actually, I think it's Ant-Man. I believe so. But I don't know how. Yes, I think it's Ant-Man. Just right at the moment that he was to going to kill him. The other Wolverine from the future and beyond shows up and tells himself, the other Wolverine, he tells him, look, don't do it. I say, why not? Because what you did, which you already did it, has changed everything. Well, if I did that, then things are better. But Wolverine from beyond tells Wolverine from this timeline, look, you make it worse. So they, so both of them, they start talking. <clears throat> I know. Once all that's going on, they talk, talk, talk. Mm, one Wolverine tells the other Wolverine, <laughs> one, of us, one of us have to die. And that's what you see on part nine. So one of the Wolverines died. So from there, we move to the future and beyond where we see the other half of the team fighting Ultron. And there's a big fight and suddenly, which I don't think it doesn't say on the story, at least I didn't see it, but I assume, just by common sense, Ultron, he got to the point where he kind of like mal malfunctioned and now to destroy. So I assume that when the Wolverine went back in time to meet the, to stop the first Wolverine to kill Adman, maybe Adman saw what was going on between the two Wolverines and he kind of like made some kind of device or time or whatever. Because he knew if he would stop doing whatever he was doing, the whole timeline will, be, will, will change. So he cannot die and he cannot stop building Ultron. He still had to build Ultron to make sure that the timeline doesn't change. But he make a little difference. He make a, he make a little twitch. And that's what happened on issue number 10 where Ultron auto destroyed. So we see that the Wolverine from the past goes to the future which happened to be this present. And in the end we get to see Angel. I don't know, because according to the story, all the all that traveling back and forth, it already broke the timeline or damage. So there were some different universe kind of like collide. And that's how Angela shows up. From image comics. Which is from long way. So that's the whole thing. Basically I just give you more or less what the story is about. It's more it has a little bit more, I mean, the, the story is more than what I told you. 
So overall, for me, if I was going to rate it, I mean, you know, I mean, that's the thing about about this event. I started reading it. I think was on issue number five. I started reading. It. So I said, okay, I'm gonna wait to have all the comic books, the whole set, and then I will read it with a clean mind as a trade, one comic book after the other, after the one after the other, and that's what I did. I read all the comic books one after the other. And overall, the story is an okay story. It just is a bit confusing. Somewhere the writers lost track of time. <laughs> kind of like ironic. I mean, the, the writers are writing, I mean, the, the writer wrote the story about timeline and the writer somehow lost his timeline. Uh, but overall, it's an okay story. I would rate it. Uh, if I give it one number, I would be that would be too much. If I would give this number, it will be, it will not be fair. So I will give it. I will go right on the middle. I will rate it just right, right on the middle. I will give it three out of five. If I give him two, that would be unfair. If I give it four, it would be too much. So I give it three. Just right there on the middle. You know, 3.5 or 2.5. Three out of five, I would give it. So overall, it's a confusing story. Like I said, you have to read it with a clean mind. Uh, and that's it, guys. That's what Age of Ultron is all about. It's about time travel, how to try to fix things when end up making it worse. Well guys, this is it. I hope that you like the video. Till later. Bye.